And I just wonder how many people are threatened by the possibility that they don't fit the stereotype for their fill in the blank, be it their gender or their race or whatever. Like how scary does that have to be for you to want to like, put other people in a box and protect that box as though it's it, it is well, vulnerability. I mean, you and I know that vulnerability is scary. You and I know that stepping into our, our vulnerable selves is a risk and any risk that we cannot control. Well, every risk, we cannot necessarily control the outcome. And so when you take a risk to do that and the majority of people, they don't want to because it's so terrifying because of the shame that has been put on us and our bodies for centuries yep. so we are unraveling wounds that have have been placed on us for so long and that are ingrained in our dna i don't think people realize where that shame is really coming from like if you look at it from a historical lens mm -hmm. that shame is coming from being able to reproduce mm -hmm. being able to be pretty enough to mm -hmm. merge families to merge mm -hmm. nations to to resolve conflicts that 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 middle ages construct mm -hmm. of the, the 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 value of a woman is centuries old and it still affects us you know the ability to give a son so that there's an heir you know all of these things come from these this hierarchy that is a class that most people have never experienced or will ever experience that comes out of a monarchical experience. And right. most people are going to have in their DNA the line of having to breed or having to preserve the race. As I listen to you speak so, so powerfully, I, I want to honor something. First of all, I love the fact that you talk about witnessing, right? Like we, we witness history, we witness ourselves, we witness our present, we witness the people who are who are fully coming into themselves, but we're also witnessing the people who stay wounded. We are witnessing right now, and I, and I really want any white woman who is listening to this. We are witnessing our black sisters take their place where they should be, and they and they are teaching us how to step into our power and take our place. They are teaching us humility. They are teaching us mercy, and they are teaching us ferocity, which can exist at the very same time. And one of the most beautiful things that I, I want to honor about black women is that black women have had to do this for a lot longer and fight. And so you've developed fighting skills that as white women, we need to, we need to adapt rather than the tools that the patriarchy gave to us, which are weak and bullshit and wounded and bleeding and keep us bleeding. And so I think it's really important that we that we witness the moment that we are in, whether it's whether it's Leah's story and LGBTQ or whether it's the story of our black brothers and sisters who are taking places of, of power, of empowerment. Right. Whether it's being a justice or, or but let's remember that a black woman became vice president before a white woman became president. Let's remember that Justice Jackson's confirmation, in my opinion, is the rebirth of Anita Hill. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. This this is about this moment that is so necessary. And and I do think that cisgendered, heteronorm, white women need to see it, witness it, and then take direct action, as Dr. King called it, to step into our own healing and our own power, not ahead of black women, but alongside black women, so that we're doing this together. Yeah. Because we can't do it alone. None of us can do it alone. Because people can't do it alone. We're meant to be in connection. We're meant to be tearing down these walls in connection. So let's do that. You know, power comes from within us. And it's a tool of the systems that oppress to make us believe that power is something that only belongs to a certain group or class of people and that it is a finite resource. It's not, it comes from ourselves. And many of us have been, we have been sold that lie that we are disempowered. And I, I thank you for witnessing black women and what we are, what we are talking about, not that we haven't been talking about, not that we haven't been doing, but that we're doing in a more public space because yeah. we are we are refuse to be small.